my channel. My name is Valerie and this is my channel on lifestyle, being a mom, and sometimes a little yoga too because I am a mom and a yoga te uh, teacher, a marketing professional, a writer, and a lot of other things. But anyway, welcome to my channel if this is your first time or welcome back if you've been here before. Killian would like to say something because Killian, he's my youngest, he's a little over two. If you can believe it, he um, he's actually sick. He has been throwing up since he got home. He got home at about 6.30, so like, it, no, 5.30, so like two hours ago, and he's been throwing up ever since, but you wouldn't know it by looking at him right now. <laughs> so I don't, whoa, he almost fell off his chair. Um, mother of the year over here. Um, anyway, he's eating some Cheerios. He wanted some Cheerios. <laughs> so hopefully those stay down, so far nothing has. Um, and we've been kind of watching what he eats or whatever. But this is like literally since January. This would be the third stomach bug. If it is indeed a stomach bug, I say it is. The third vomiting situation that he has had. I have had two stomach bugs since January and hopefully my exposure to this, whatever it is, doesn't manifest because then that would be number three. Like every single month, it's March, yeah. So it's been like once a month. You know, just the usual monthly stomach bug. But come on. Anyway, so we're hanging out here. I was gonna film um, a cleansing of a house and I might actually do that. We've been having, um, I don't know if I ever mentioned it on this channel, but we um, periodically have like, I would say like definitely paranormal activity in the house where like things are kind of odd. Um, they've kind of ramped up. He's up. <laughs> 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 anyway, we've had some situations kind of ramping up since, um, oh, look at this. This week, um, and I can go into detail when I do the cleansing, but I wanted to do a cleansing tonight as a result, but this guy's health and feelings better is a priority, but why wouldn't it be? <laughs> so I'm kind of just keeping chill right now and giving him the time that he needs, the love that he needs. Right? And then whatever he will eat for food. I think it's a good sign that he wants to eat something. Can you say hi? Hi! My name is Killian. And I'm the youngest boy here in the house. And I have a hat head. You act like you don't talk. You talk. No, no, don't hit yourself. Oh my gosh. Boys will be boys will be boys. Oh, and they're still snuggly though. Yeah, we got these two guys. Are little, oh, hi. Here and Russell. So the one on the right is Russell, the reddish one. The one that's standing is Russell. The one that's lying down is Nico. Yes, Nico. Hi, Nico. Whoa. Mainly because he's eating something, and they're hoping that he'll drop something down. But anyway, so we're gonna do a little more of this, and we're gonna do a little bit more of what are we gonna do? We're gonna go to Betty's and hopefully have a good night and not one that's multiple bouts of getting up, but we'll have to see. I'm teaching a class in the morning at 9.30, so I have to wake up at like six, no matter what. So I guess we'll find out what, what how, how that goes down. <laughs> okay, so I put Killian to bed. Um, he threw up a couple more times. He did drink a little bit of water. I'm like, I couldn't deny him water if he's thirsty, but he has been throwing up water too. So I don't know what to expect. I'm upstairs, I'm just going to read and kind of review some of my um, sequencing for tomorrow um, and keep an ear out if he needs me at all. Um, I He's like was dry heaving before the water so I'm thinking if anything it'll be the water that he throws up but oh, poor thing like hopefully his stomach starts to settle. <clears throat> but anyway while I was up here I, I first started putting away my laundry which is always a task because first of all I had a couple of problems. First of all, I have too many clothes, which normally isn't a problem because I really like having a lot of different options and variety in clothes. Um, some people could be like, oh, why do you have 50 sweatshirts and why do you have three or four cardigans? I'll look the same. But to me, I just kind of like that. Even if I wear only a couple of things, I like the things I have. But anyway, so I'm gonna give you a little FYI, a little sneak peek into what my world looks like. So I have a closet I share with my husband. So remember, our house is a 1920s build in New England. So this is what we get for a closet space. Please don't judge. 
this is it. Like a C, as small as narrow as you think that is, it is. There's no space at all. My husband's stuff is literally like right here. My stuff is smushed in here, all in between here, smushed all the way back here. And then I'm tr I try to use some space down here and it's on top of a suitcase. So it's a total mess, right? So, as you can see, I have no space for clothing. And if you look, I have a waterfall bureau that was, it's circa 1930. I'll give you a look at that. Yeah, so it's a really nice bureau, don't get me wrong. But I can't even close the drawers anymore because I have too much stuff in them. Because people in the 30s did not have the amount of stuff that I have leaking out of every pore, right? So, the other drawers you may have seen in the background of my husband's, he has two bureaus that my parents got gave us. He took both of them. He has a third of the clothes that, that I have. I don't know how that happened. I, I really don't. But anyway, so this is what happens with the mess of clothes when I don't have space. My husband tends to just throw clothes on top of his bureau and it's like a total pigsty mess even though he does actually have space in the, bureau, in the drawer. So it's more of him not managing the clothes well. For me, oops, for me it's more of not having any space. So this is what I end up having to do. Here's our bed. At the bottom of the bed we have a cedar chest. And on top of the cedar chest are my clothes that I can't fit anywhere. So as you can see it's quite a bit. It's stacked up. Now, after Killian, when Killian was born, I went through, and I actually have a stack. Like, I, the stack was, like, probably looked like this, if not worse, at the bottom of the bed. I cleaned that up. I cleaned the top of my bureau up perfectly, and I cleaned everything on my table. So let me show you my table. This is a mess. So this all needs to get cleaned up. So this was here just to collect a couple of things that I didn't have any space for. Now it's completely full of like five or six different deodorants and whatever else has come into the space, right? And then all this other stuff. My Ipsy, my last Ipsy I got for February. Here, this is way neater than it ever used to be, but there's this, it's like, yeah. What is this? Rocks box stuff, Mala Prayer, like just, stacked up jewelry, okay? These bottles probably could be put nicely and neatly and some of it I probably don't even want anymore. But I've got these bottles of perfume. Uh, and it's like nice perfume, you know what I mean? But how would you know? Because it's just thrown in the corner here. And then I've got all this. This is a gift that I need to give to someone I haven't seen in probably four months, but yeah. All of this. This is the mess that I walk into every day and I wake up to every morning and I go to bed to every night. At the very least your bedroom should be like spotless because it's the first thing you see in the morning and the last thing you see at night. So it's really, really annoying to me. And then I've got all this. So this container really honestly mostly has yoga stuff. Um, I don't really need all of this for my yoga stuff. And now of course it's collected other things beside yoga stuff, but its initial intent was that I was supposed to hold all my yoga stuff, um, props and things like that, but I think I can get rid of it and get something at least a little bit nicer looking. My baby dolls up here, that's actually a yoga prop. Um, a rocks box from six months ago that I have yet to return. That's just been hanging out here. And some other random goodies. And then of course there's this. This is some of my equipment a bag I use when I go to trainings and Killian's diaper bag. Here with like Killian's diaper bag and stuff, that's all stuff I use like at least once a week or at the very most like a couple times a month because the lighting I use for this, for my vlogs and then if I go to a training I'm using, I'm like at a training once a month now and then the diaper bag is just for when we go out. So that's like a more frequent use, frequently used item. Um, so those kinds of things, it's okay to be there, but I think there's a neater, more organized way to do this. I, please, I don't know what it is. I need someone to come in and help me and just organize my life 
because I'm not very good at organizing, I realize, and I might be bordering on being a hoarder. That being said, I'm gonna hang out, have a little bit of wine, go over my sequencing, maybe even watch a little bit of Homeland. Does anybody watch that? Is anybody watching that? I'm actually pretty intrigued by it, a little disturbed. Uh, don't be, get me wrong. <laughs> and, um, and I'm gonna try to get some rest. And that way I'm fresh for the morning and for my classes. And then for anything Killian has, um, any needs that he has throughout the night, poor guy. Hello, so it is Saturday morning and um, it was a rough night last night. I'll just say that much. Killian um, was still vomiting throughout the night. Poor little guy. And he um, he's such a trooper and I felt really, it was like really kind of, like I was trying to do my best to support him, but it was really tough. Um, okay, I think that's a little bit better lighting wise. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, anytime that usually your child will have thrown up everything, including the water. Um, and then the next step is I don't know if this, like they'll might throw up or spit up this like green colored th th stuff. And um, sometimes it's mucusy, sometimes not. Um, that is what's considered like bile, which is like in the gut um that helps to break down your foods um whenever i see that i get a little concerned so i'm worried about hydration for the most part um and getting um something in there to kind of stop and hold things into the stomach um so i was concerned about killian last night because of that but he was in and out of sleep and then in and out of like um kind of like um the the, the stomach um, palpitations or whatever like so he was very strongly like vomiting and I could hear it in his stomach so really really sad but anyway so I got about two hours of sleep last night um, and I may have snoozed in and out of when he was sick because I just set myself up in his um, next to his bed he has a little chair I just set myself up onto the chair and threw um, some covers on me and just kind of laid there next to him so I was worried that if I left to go to my bedroom first of all I have to keep getting up and I didn't want to have to do that and then secondly, I mean, I hear him if he needed me, so I want to be right there. So once I felt like some time had lapsed and he was doing better, um, I went back to my room and then got like two and a half hours of sleep um, and then got up, took a shower and got ready for the day. So um, I'm having biting issues today. I don't know why. Anyway, I think that lighting is better now. But I actually don't have some overhead lighting on right now, so it's like natural lighting. But anyway, so he's, um, oh, Chris is helping him. He's throwing up again. He, he's getting there, but he's, he's got to kind of get this through his system. Um, and poor guy. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I have a couple classes to teach, and then I'm going to help this guy out. All right, so I am back from teaching <clears throat> and having some lunch as well. As you can see, I threw my bathrobe back on. <laughs> So I am going low profile. I think Nolan has a friend coming over in about an hour and 45 minutes or so. Um, they're gonna be hanging out doing some stuff. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood outside, but I am resting right now. Um, I'm just tired. It's like when you get two hours of sleep, this is what you become, right? Killian is resting, he is sleeping. Um, hopefully he is recovering and healing through that sleep. Um, I stopped at the store today too and I picked him up some coconut water, which has the electrolytes I'm looking for, um, and some like saltines and um, Cheerios, just like kind of soothing foods for him so he can have that. Um, we also have rice here if he wants a rice, toast. Um, oh, I didn't get bananas. That's okay. I'll get bananas tomorrow or something if I decide to, but I have some options for him at least. Um, and just so resting and hanging out here. <clears throat> this BMF behind me still needs to get cleaned up, but I don't think that's happening today. I would like to get to one cleaning project today though, so that might be the bathroom downstairs. That's what I think I might do. Oh, even that's a lot. So it might just be like a couple of the surfaces of the bathroom downstairs. Maybe not all the drawers. Um, I don't know. Right now I'm resting. We'll see what happens. Um, gonna hang out for a little bit. And maybe even hang out with my little guy over here. He seems to be waking up a little bit here. Should we look? My sicky pool. Mm. Nolan is watching YouTube. Who is this guy? I don't know. Okay. He doesn't know who it is. 
He does like pranks and stuff. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna get to a little bit of relaxation. All right, so I'm fresh faced over here, so I just get used to it because this is what it usually looks like very dark circles under the eyes because I've only slept a couple of hours last night and didn't get any sleep in today. Um, so Nolan has a friend over tonight and they're having a nice time watching a movie, enjoying time together, so I love that. Um, Nolan really enjoys having a friend to like do wonderful things with and I'm all about that life. So um, in the meantime, Killian has been touch and go. He's been sleeping a lot. Um, he has had some water, thank God. He doesn't want the coconut water at all though, that's okay. Regular water is fine too and he's throwing up and then not. He did most recently really want something for dinner. Um, he woke up from a nap and ate like a bunch of fries from McDonald's. Not necessarily the most healthy option but super salty and fatty which sometimes helps to bind and um, my daughter swears by McDonald's french fries when you have a stomach bug like once you're done throwing up or whatever she swears by it. She's had one time where she was super sick and then she ended up having some fries and was barely good. So I don't really know. I mean, I let him have it because he was starving and he ate almost a whole medium fry. So it was a lot. Um, so I don't know what to expect tonight. If Chris is on night duty tonight, cause I've got to get sleep. Otherwise, no, one night is fine sleeping just two hours, but I'm not going to be a functional human being tomorrow. And, um, I have two classes and I'm driving and there's snow, um, in the forecast tomorrow. So I need to be like pretty sharp, <laughs> be able to be like with it, you know? Um, but anyway, I'm going to watch a little bit more. I'm watching. Okay. So this is what I've watched today while holding and snuggling with Killian in the afternoon. I have watched, um, I finished Homeland and I would definitely have to recommend it. It's really good and I can't wait for the second season. I'm hoping there's another season. I don't feel like it really wrapped up, but maybe it did. I don't know. And then um, I started watching, I don't know if any of you have watched this yet, but the Lorena Bobbitt case. Um, I remember this case so distinctly and apparently it was in 1993. Um, on my birthday, June 23rd, um, mark it on your calendar. No, just kidding. And it was um, I was 16 at the time. I remember this case so well. Um, and I remember thinking that he was absolutely guilty of abuse um, then, and I still do now. <laughs> it was interesting, even just watching the case. But it's um, like a four-part docu-series, and it's on Amazon Prime. So if you have Amazon Prime and you're interested in like true crime stories, um, especially if you lived through that, especially if you were a young person during that time and heard some stuff from the news but didn't really know a lot about what was going on, um, it might be really cool to watch. There was some crazy stuff that happened in the 90s, like that case, the OG Simpson case and stuff like that. Um, Anita Hill. A lot of stuff to do with women's issues in the 90s um, which is interesting because we're dealing with that once again now so um, anyway if you're interested in a true crime that would be really interesting to watch this one has got it all anyway I'm gonna watch a little bit more then head to sleep and hopefully get some good rest so I can be a functional human being tomorrow all right well it is Sunday and I realized I haven't even popped in to tell you anything about my day. So it's just gonna be like a Friday to Saturday vlog. Um, yeah, it's just a busy day. We're doing a lot. Um, so I really didn't get time to pop in. So Killian is still um, on the mend. So we'll see about school tomorrow, but um, hopefully he's better in the morning. And um, it's so sad to see him sick and not feeling well. So I also hope it stops with him and doesn't like tear through the house. Although my stomach has felt a little weird a minute ago so hope it's okay anyway i hope you all have a really great week thank you so much um other ways that you can connect with me i am on instagram at valoriecation um also with facebook i have valoriecation yoga which is my yoga page and outlines my class schedule if you're local as well as stuff that i like to share out there into the yoga community um if you do go on the valoriecation page on facebook um that is my author's page i don't contribute to that as much um but when i have something to um 
update you about my writing or research. Um, I put something up there. So anyway, thank you so much for visiting my channel. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this and subscribe to my channel so you know what's happening next and notification bells are cool too, right? Of course. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Namaste.